Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply and today I want to talk about the new Nanomax CV filters to fit on your Record Power CanVac dust extractor. Uh, we designed them specifically to fit these units here and they're pretty cool. Um, so they are a MERV 15 filter, so same as our other Nanomaxes here. Now there's lots of research you can do on MERV ratings. Uh, MERV 15 is very high, um, but basically what that means before they're ever used, that's going to filter down <clears throat> to about 0.3 microns, um, about 90% of 0.3 microns and larger. But once they're used or once they're seasoned, that filter rating goes way up, which is really cool. So these are pretty commonly MERV 15 filters found on higher end dust collectors. So you get great filtration with these guys here. Um, the other thing about them, which is pretty neat, they have 10 square feet of filter material per filter, which is about double uh, what's going to come with the standard filters um, that come with the cam back here. So with that extra square footage, you're going to get actually a little bit better airflow, which I'll show you now. So basically what I want to do, I have the original filters in this cam back right now. So we got the cloth bag, the paper bags, and then the interior cloth bags. These Nanomax CVs replace all of that. Uh, but I'm going to do a CFM test with the standard filters. And then we'll do the same test with the Nanomax CV and just see what the difference is here. Okay, so with the standard filters that come with the CanVac, I'm going to turn both motors on and test it here. Okay, with that quick test, I got about 520 or 521 CFM right there. So let's switch the head to the Nanomax filters and we'll do the same test. Okay, so now with the Nanomax CV, as I mentioned to you, um, all the cloth filters and paper filters you don't need. So you can set this one aside as well. And then this will sit in that canister, just like that. And I'm ready to go in just a second here. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so we'll do that same test. We were at 521 with the original filters. We'll try it with the upgraded filters here. Okay, so now we're about 599.2. So not quite 600, um, so I'm not sure what increase that is, but that's about an 80 CFM increase approximately uh, comparing to two different kinds of filters, which is pretty good. Every little bit counts. Now the really cool thing about these Nanomax filters is how you can pulse clean them, which is what I want to show you next. So I'm going to suck up this little barrel of sawdust right here. This is just sawdust off, MDF sawdust off my uh, CNC mixed in with a little bit of table saw stuff. Um, I'm gonna suck it up with the cam back and show you how to clean, or one way you can clean or pulse clean these filters here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and suck this up and we'll show you how to clean. So that was a fair amount of sawdust we just put inside that can back. So what I'm going to do now, this next step normally you would do inside the can, but I'm going to bring the actual head outside so you can visually see how we're doing it. Okay, so if I was doing this inside, I would connect my exhaust hose on one motor and connect that same hose to the other motor. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to turn one motor on and it's going to blow air in reverse through the other motor. Now these Nanomax filters, um, they have a polyester coating on the outside. So 
when sawdust, it doesn't have a tendency to really stick on there. So when there's a little bit of back pressure, that sawdust will kind of just release. So what I want to show you is I'll turn one motor on and we'll blow through our air in reverse through the filter. And what you'll see is all, a lot of that sawdust get blown right off here. All right, let me go ahead here. Oh, first I gotta plug it in. One second. Don't worry, I'm not cold. <laughs> you should be good now. Right. Now, if we were inside and you have this inside the can, while you're doing this, just give the can a bit of a rattle. Okay. Do the same thing with the other side. And there you go. You could spend more time cleaning it if you wanted, um, but that's going to get 90% of the sawdust that's on there. Well, when you're back in your shop, normal circumstances, this is what you'll do. Turn one motor on, give her a little rattle, and do the same thing here. And that's going to leave you ready to empty your can back. There's your filters. Just lay them off to the side, and you can dump the rest of that out. So yeah, these uh, filters are pretty cool little setups here. Now, the one other thing I wanted to mention about them, if you are dealing with a really, really messy job, or you don't want to damage the filters, you can still put the paper filters over top and that's going to protect them, which is kind of a neat little thing you can do as well. So yeah, we do have these on our website now. They are all made in Canada. Um, so make sure you check them out. And if anybody has any questions, you can email me at info at or just comment on the video. Thanks for watching.